You may be wondering why I'm wearing this swimsuit. Well, it's check-in day. Let's go. So every time I wake up in the morning, I go to the bathroom. Not every time. On Fridays, I have check-in days. So today is a check-in day. You can see I'm in my bikini. Oh, check out the lighting. Check out the lighting. It was better here, right? Uh, all right, yeah, so this is my house. Let's go and do my check-in. When I do my check-in, and when you do your check-in, people, you should use a plain white solid background or like tan for that matter, but just one area, same place every time, okay? Every time, same place. I like to create lighting so the lighting's the same every time. Outdoor lighting can be false, right? Sometimes it can be rainy, sometimes it can be sunny. So we're gonna create our own light. So I got that popping. I set up my tripod. I set it up about hip level, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna aim it over here. I see belly rub. You want belly rub this morning? Come here, you want the belly rub? Let me rub your belly. You were just asking for the belly rub, huh? I set up my camera long ways. And what the trick to do is, ladies and gents, is when you're doing your progress photos, I have it on video mode, as you can see right now. So what I do is I hold all my positions, all right? Front, you can flex, you don't have to flex, but if you are flexing in one, be consistent every time. So I'll stand here, it's my front pose. And then I'll do my side pose. On my side pose, I'm pulling in my stomach, pulling down my lats and getting tall, right? So that's all I do for my side and then for my back. I'll push my glutes back, squeeze my back a little bit, hold steady, and then that's it. That's all I do. I take the video, and then once I take the video, I go back and I will screenshot front, side, back. So see, I completely could do that on my own. And you don't have to have a tripod for this. You can completely, totally put it on a chair somewhere as long as you're in the same lighting, same outfit, same pose every time, okay? You got this. Okay, y'all, it is time for measurements. So when I do my measurements, I use a measuring tape, obviously. I measure in inches because obviously I'm from the US. Well, not obviously, but maybe from how I talk. Um, but yeah, I take my measurements with a measuring tape. Can you see my head? You can kind of see my head. But anyway, let's go ahead and take those measurements, all right? So we'll do the chest first. When you're doing your chest, make sure it is around the midline, right? Okay. So we got 32.5, writing it down, 32.5, that's my chest. For all you guys who wanna know my measurements, I know some of you ask, but I don't know how that would help you knowing my measurements. Um, you get them in this video. All right, waist. You can see my trunk isn't very, it's more of a straight trunk. It doesn't go in very much. Um, so I can illusion, you know, a tiny waist. But I do have kind of small from the side. That's do this, 25 and a half for my waist. And mind you, I am 10 weeks out from Worlds. We'll see if I can get that 24 waist. I haven't had it back since track and I think it's just because my obliques have grown. All right, let's get the hips next. So when you get your hips, you wanna measure around the large part of your booty, all right? So, feet together, 37, 37, 37 inches. All right, next we're gonna do my bicep. So you want it in between your elbow and your shoulder joint. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there, like that. Bring it around. This is harder to do on your own, but you'll get it when you get it. 10 and a half. Usually I'm about 10, but I did biceps yesterday, so that's probably a little bit of a pump. A little bit of pump for that. To measure your leg, you want to measure the same place every time. I know a lot of girls like to measure around this part. I like to measure in between the point of each joint, right? So it'll be roughly here. So what I do, so I'm in the same place every time, and I only do my left leg. I don't know why, I just only do my left side, probably because I'm a little bit lazy, but also like my body's probably pretty symmetrical and I haven't had any atrophy from injury. So we might do it today just to see out of curiosity for my legs since I did pull my hamstring in 2013, so. Okay, I measure up five inches from my kneecap. Put my little finger there so I can see it. And then come around. All right. Ooh, growth, 19.5. Mm, damn, girl. 
Yes. I think it was 19 last week. <laughs> awesome. Unless it's water weight. Okay. And calves for you calf fans out there. Oh, calf fans. Af, af fans. All right, let's do this. So I just kind of guessed the midpoint. I don't measure down because I don't really give a crap, but we'll just do it anyway. <laughs> 14, 14 inch calf, yes. Okay, so I took all my measurements and then I'm going to input them into the app. Ooh, y'all, we need to get my weight today. Let's see. All right, now that the measurements and the photo is done, time to take my weight. Again, I haven't eaten anything, drank anything. I went to the bathroom this morning. Uh, last week I was like 224-ish. 224? Yeah, no, 124. 124. Okay, and so let's see what I am this week. Pew, pew. Oh, wait, I'm holding this. Darn it. Hold on. Let's re recalibrate. Recalibrate. Official weight in to 122.5. So I lost about two pounds since last week. I lost two pounds the week prior, two pounds before. So I've lost like four pounds, and I'm only seven pounds away from show weight. So we will see if coaches decide to adjust my diet or if we're just going to continue to go this way and see what happens. But I hope you all have a great, wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to get a legit camera here soon, so we're no longer going to get selfie mode on my phone. So I'm super excited about that. But I hope you have a great day and you learned something from this video. Go implement and take your progress photos. It is so, so important because we don't always see it on the scale, okay? and we might not always see it in measurements, but you can see it in photos or in measurements. So hope y'all have a great day and we'll see you next time.